Hi, and welcome to this talk about film and film in education, and especially how we have been integrating film uh, in the education at Landscape Architecture and Planning at Copenhagen University. We have been teaching in film since 2014, uh, both on master level and later on uh, the bachelor level too. Um, and the reason why we have integrated film in the education is linked to uh, difficulties in capturing ephemeral aspects of experience and by that of sites, places, uh, central in, in project work and project development. Um, it's an interest and um, notion of the need for working with multisensorial imprints because it's very difficult to grasp and it's very difficult to bring home from field work with uh, the other types of tools, um, drawing, sketches, interview and, and so on. Um, and by using the film medium and the film camera, you have a completely different possibility of not only making registrations and explore sites uh, where you can work with the interchange of vision and sound and movement, but you can also bring it back home. Um, and that makes an interesting uh, uh, change from, from more static uh, tools. And by that is also touching upon issues of uh, shift in media use, uh, very central in, in an architect, architectonic profession. You, you change media in order to, to push uh, projects or push uh, the production or the making uh, of an idea and, and also of the, of, of the work that you're working with. So it's, it's very important in terms of, of idea generation, um, the whole uh, focus on developing a concept um, is very linked to, to sensorial imprints um, and that uh, effects are being uh, emphasized uh, via the media being used. So there's also a, an imprint from, from the tool uh, used. Um, another aspect is change over time, especially landscapes um, are changing, uh, growing. So the change during a day, over a whole year, also the very slow changes in, in vegetation or slow changes uh, in larger scale over a long time um, is important to, to be able to grasp. Um, and again, how do we experience such changes and how can we actually grasp both the change and the experience of the change and that's where where the camera becomes really really interesting um, and that's leading to uh, what we are gaining from integrating uh, film um, because what is interesting with with the film camera is that it works as an intimacy projection environment uh, it's projecting intimacy uh, between a side and a perceiver. Um, projecting meaning that it's affecting. Um, and it also emphasizes that link between the side perceiver and then a conceiver. Because when working on top of, of the filmic footage, like working on top of drawings and models, changing them, producing new drawings models, you also produce new film. Uh, so it's not just a, a registration tool, it's also an exploration tool and it becomes a design tool at the same time. But you can of course decide in what phase you're focusing at and you do not have to go all the way, but you can stay in some of the phases. Um, and that means that you can work with the reenactment of aesthetic experience um, in the projective design space. Uh, so you can actually work uh, very closely with self-affection uh, as a methodology. 
uh, very uh, strong in, in design processes um, and also very relevant in education uh, in order for being able to teach uh, students and coming um, professionals uh, how to work with uh, ephemeral aspects, how to work with multisensorial interchange between seeing, hearing and moving, uh, the effect that it's creating, uh, effect of, of physical uh, decisions, designs. Um, and it seems as it's also emphasizing uh, and, and steering the attention uh, to uh, the site perceiver conceiver interchange, I said before, and and by that it also has uh, the capacity to inform uh, co-creation processes um, due to to this um, uh, capacity, um, and and that of course. It's very closely linked to, to uh, the possibility of intensifying the impact and the effect of spaces and landscapes uh, um, and how they are affecting people uh, in order for others to understand that such changes uh, is important. Um, it also uh, links to issues uh, of larger scale, not only large scale transformations, which can be very difficult to grasp, and especially how it's affecting us uh, and other uh, living. Um, but how do how do we then actually create such an awareness and attention towards uh, larger changes, and by that also attention towards a larger worlding, meaning that those changes that we are all facing is affecting all of us um, and that's where the film medium and the film camera with this uh, sensorial and effective um, capacity has a power to steer more empathetic approaches um, and that can can emphasize uh, embodied and sensors uh, enculturation of of the whole uh, field and the whole uh, profession um, in relation to this talk there is uh, three films um, and they are focusing on how we have been using a uh, film uh, in the education showing a little bit more about what's going on. So one film focuses on, on relations between master and bachelor education, uh, film explorations. One is looking into thesis work, how film is being used uh, during a thesis process. And the last one uh, looks into to, uh, media interchange, uh, the exploration of media interchange and how the film medium taps into to, uh, these issues uh, in order to, to propose and design and make project proposals. Um, yeah, I hope that, that, uh, that these films will be informative. Um, and thank you for listening and enjoy.